Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 23. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here and welcome back to this week's news report where we have plenty of updates, plenty of profits and plenty of news also that we have to get through this particular week here. Last week was actually a good week on a lot of our EAs. We're going to explain exactly which ones did well, which ones did not so well. And there's obviously a lot more to it than that. Just before we were actually shooting this particular video here, we uh, came across a bit of a profit that we had last night. So basically while we were sleeping, this is the benefit of having automated EAs running. Our ISI PAM account was simply taking off cashing in a lot so just overnight exactly how much we're going to obviously explain through this video we're going to show you also how much that was compared to last week but definitely things are going well on the RSI PAM account it also goes well on some of the other accounts in here we're going to go through all of it so I do urge you to sit down get yourself a cup of coffee and then we'll run through it because we also have to tell you a bit about an update so the new update that is in here. We had three updates in the last couple of weeks on Expert Forex EAs. Now there's another one in here. Which one that is, we're also gonna show you. We're gonna show you which version it is. So you know exactly which EA to trade, which one has the latest whistle and bells and the updates that you'll need in order to perform all your trading. Last but not least, we are also celebrating at the moment that the end of May basically turned out to be another good month for our uh, RSI and WAVE PAM accounts in here. Overall, we have more than $300,000 under management in just 90 days. So things are looking quite well. Investors seems to be happy. And that is also why you need to watch this particular news report to see exactly how our EAs are doing individually, how they are doing all together. And that is also at the end of the day, the outcome you're gonna see through our PAM accounts. So let's get started and let's get started on our yield note side today. So last week when we discussed yield notes, we were basically telling you that the renewed certificates NFT uh, was coming out and we received ours. We have also seen a lot of other people have received theirs, which is great news. And obviously the next part is now what's going to happen with the enemy, what's going to happen with yield notes. And uh, I therefore reached out here also over the weekend to Steve just to ask him if there's a possibility to go and see the guys in Malta, since I'm uh, back in Malta at the moment, and then either meet up with Uots or some of the other guys that can tell us exactly what's gonna happen with the enemy slash yield notes here. What is the roadmap? Can we get some precise details and information back on this? And maybe also show you that the guys are still there. They're still working hard in order to recover everything that we have in here. Until then, obviously, I will give you uh, further details and inform you through one of the uh, news reports that we have in here when that is going to happen. And I will also do a separate video for this, of course, if we manage to get a timeline uh, set up with either um, Woods or one of the other guys here in Malta. Until then, let's go and have a look at this SAP coin. It doesn't look so well. Last week when we left it, we had about uh, seven zeros and then a six at the end of the day. So the red circle is where we left it off. And then since then, uh, things have actually been going downhill. Again, we lost another 50% of pretty much nothing at the moment. Um, so obviously that is not the way we wanted things to go. But that is, I guess, uh, what is going to happen until we can see some good improvements overall and we get some timelines out of it where we're going to get again some enthusiasm in here uh, also to get the coins going and uh, get the flow of the coins uh, also higher. Until then uh, we are still doing the staking and for the SAP staking this particular time around we just had last week 280 SAP coming in so they came in on the 3rd of June and uh, as you can see, just the month of May, that was the best one. Month of June, we only have one here so far. And we'll have to see exactly how that's going to go. The uh, level that we have seen the previous month is we're going to have about two or three times in a month. Uh, obviously, that is not much. 
but at least for this particular week here, we are looking at a 1.2% uh, profit just on a weekly basis. And if we continue to do that every single week, definitely we will still have more and more coins. You can see up here in the top left-hand corner, we have 24,138 saps at the moment. But with the value that I just showed you before, then it doesn't really matter too much at the moment. We need to see a lot more happening. When it comes to the PNY, we have uh, two times, and that is actually on the same day here. So basically on the 3rd of June, within half an hour, we got two times, which is obviously quite encouraging. But as you can see, it is quite unstable. So it takes uh, days, weeks sometimes in between where we get the rewards, and then all of a sudden they come drizzling in with half an hour apart. But still we made two times 133 PNY. That is obviously quite nice. And that also takes us up to about 1.4% for the 266 PNY that we made for that particular last week. Overall, we are now at 19,649 PNY. So definitely things are going in the right direction while we are waiting and hoping, obviously, that the enemy and yield loads is going to come back. That also means that once again we get some value out of it, hopefully we'll have even more coins. But let's go and have a look at the Bitcoin versus USDT. Last time we left it was last week at 68,200. Since then, things have been going quite well for Bitcoin, ended up at 72,000. So that was the top part at the end of uh, the week. And then over the weekend, it's pretty much been trading sideways after a bit of a dump all the way down to 69,000. And at the moment, it's just trading around, yeah, 69,356 at the time that this video was actually made. So looks like the Bitcoin value is uh, quite good at the moment if you are holding any of it. Now we also have to go through our trillion news. Trillion has a bit more news for that particular week here. And again, there is some frequently asked questions regarding the crypto here. And uh, this that was sent out last week here says, okay, they are trying to explain the difference between the trillion value token and the trillion utility coin. The trillion value token, the tree and the uh, trill are the two different cryptocurrencies that has different functions within the trillion ecosystem here. And we're just going to go through the main differences between them. So the trillion value token, the tree in here has a value representation. And it says here the trillion value token is designed to represent the value and serve as a means of generating staking value within the trillion ecosystem. Intended use is primary use and investment and can be traded, stored and used as means to increase value. You have seen part of this here before. Function in the ecosystem, tree can be used to invest in various projects. And also part of that is the staking within the trillion ecosystem and it serves as the underlying asset for various applications. And uh, the second part is the trill. So it's got the extra L on it and the functionality in here of that is the Trinity utility coin is designed as a, a utility coin that enables specific functions and services within the Trillion ecosystem. The intended use of the Trill here is primarily used on the platform featuring to pays for transactions within the uh, Trillion ecosystem. And then Trill is also used to conduct transactions and pay for the services within that system. And the resilience of the Trill is more robust because it is less volatile, so it doesn't go with the rest of the market. It is one-to-one -one value with the US dollar, and that, this is the one that we still have an issue with, that we cannot get out in dollars. We can only get it out in Trill. So the summary in here is that Trill is primarily an investment instrument, and Trill is the utility coin that enables specific functions and services within the ecosystem and is more flexible in the application itself. So what we are showing you every single week is the uh, tree in here. And if you go to the coin store, you can see that this value changes. So this is not the one that stuck one to one with the US dollar. We can see where we left it here. So last week we left it at 0 0.000199. Nine, nine. And then since then, things unfortunately has not gone together with the Bitcoin in here. It has actually sloped down slightly and ended up at 0 0.001133 instead. Um, but that is the two differences in between them. Obviously, there's most probably a lot of people that have forgotten about this in the early days. 
we were most importantly interested in the trill because it has the same value as the US dollar. So where this one here obviously fluctuates and has lost a lot of it value over time, which is everybody's waiting for the trillion ecosystem also to take off again. Until then, we have our money tree and for week uh, 23, the low risk one is currently in a drawdown. So it didn't make any money last week in here. The medium risk account did, however, so with $70 or 1.4%. And then the high risk one also made good money again, $77 or 1.8%. And if we have a quick look again at our medium account to see how it's going, you can see that after the couple of times that we lost a bit of money and we fiddle around with the settings, things have been doing extremely well and we have already surpassed. This is now weeks ago. Uh, a new all-time high. The balance that we have in here is 6,585. We started off with 5,000, as you can see here. And then at the moment, we do have a floating profit and loss at minus 687, but close profit with 1,585 still makes it a good deal overall. Total return, now that we have sort of kind of adjusted it the right way, is 18%. Monthly return is 2 Obviously, if we would have measured from the low point that we had back here, where we had just over 4,000, the percentage would be a lot better. The history we have, because we like to have the full history, even the good and the bad and the evil in here, shows you that this has a timeline of 407 days. So things have been going in the right direction overall still. And having a closer look and see how that uh, turns out into money and everything else, uh, we can see that this is obviously the medium risk one that we are doing at the moment. So these are the different currencies that we have, unlike the low risk one, which has all the different currency pairs. It actually becomes more risky. So these are the ones that are picked by us. And then we go on to have a look and see exactly how much profit we are getting every single week. You can see there's $70 uh, dollars in this particular week, 79 last week, then 17 and 14, very bad weeks for most of our EAs in here. But it looks like it's cashing in and we have found exactly the right level where we needed to be. If we go and have a closer look at the portfolio of opportunities, again, we mentioned here before that our profit retriever, we've been trading that one for a couple of years now. Things have been approved, we're happy with it, but we are moving on. We want to spend more time on the RSI, the Wave Liberator and the HDA instead. That is why the coupling service for the profit retriever only here will be slowly but surely shut down. We will use our server uh, energy and power uh, instead on these EAs here because yes, the profit retriever was version one. But obviously, we prefer the other ones here overall. We find them a lot more stable at the end of the day. What we also find stable in here is our Trade Explorer. The 22 pair in the last week actually did quite well, $241 to 2.4%. So that's nice to see that that is up. The 10 pair one did $320 or 3.2%. So both of them are ticking over nicely. And if you have both of the, those setups in here, you can see that you would have made about $560 in total, or at the end of the day, 5.6%. And that is definitely a very good number. Now we also are gonna have a look at the graph itself. You can see the history of it. It goes quite far back, 389 days. You can see all the currency pairs on the 22, which ones are being traded. Even the Japanese one, definitely it is a few in here, the US Japanese the Great British Pounds Japanese, but it's doing quite well with that anyway. In the bottom right hand corner, $241 for this particular week. And you can also see here that in the beginning of May, it was also low for this particular EA. So a very difficult month overall, but it looks like a lot of them got over it. 10 pair one also doing quite well. Again, same history. And that particular one also cashes in every single week. If we have a look, 320, then before it was uh, 206. Then in the middle of May, that actually did quite well with $427. So it's cashing in every single week. There's a nice one here in April with 800. So, but that was a bit out of the ordinary. You can only see that two or 300 is 
somewhere where you are expected to be with this particular EA. On the Wave Liberator, we have a different way of looking at things. Yes, we are trading on a $10,000 account, but the numbers that you are seeing here actually refers back to, you can trade this on a $1,000 account, or you can put 10 EAs on a $10,000 account, and then that will be equivalent to what you are seeing here. So the US Japanese, even though many doesn't want to trade that one, that is the top one for the Wave Liberator. Uh, $78 this week or 7.8%. So did extremely well. The New Zealand Swiss francs, $72 or 7.2%. Swiss francs again up here against the Japanese with $59 or 5.9%. A lot of volatility, a lot of trending and still cashing in nicely. Great British pounds, USD, $55 or 5.5%. And then the Aussie Swiss francs, $54 or 5.4%. Overall, if you were to trade it, those top five accounts in the past week, you're going to make $314 or 6.4%. And that is very, very solid results. If we have a look also at the uh, Forex Liberator EA, so these are all of them once together. And again, because they are on $10,000 accounts, you can see that the monthly returns looks a bit low, 1.3. But as I said, if you are taking this up instead on a $1,000 account, you can basically um, refer back to the monthly returns to be 13%, weekly returns to be 3 and then trade wins 68.7% will obviously be the same, nothing changes. You can see how many pips has been taken over time here, 28,000, so quite a lot. Trades per day, 13.9, and then our history, we have a very long history now of 293 days. And look at that graph it's very nice very smooth you can see it stopped a bit here in may it was a difficult time for that particular ea but it's still going extremely well over time and that is the reason here again we are doing these eas on individual basis they are set up for individual currencies to match them the best way possible and that's what you can find more about in our website where you can go and click individual links here it will take you to the fx blue site and then you can see all the information details you can look at the profits the weekly profits the monthlies you can look at the drawdowns everything else that we have in there is free and available to everyone who wants to have a closer look and we also are going to have a closer look here and just see how well it's done on the graph again the history is the same and then you can have a look at the numbers. So 455 is actually what we made for that particular week. 236 the week before, 209. So you can see it slowed down in May like so many of the other ones. So it's nice to see that this one here is also popping up again. And this is also the details that you can go into the coupling service for Expert Forex and get similar results. Now we also have the RSI Liberator. And that one is definitely, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video it's on fire at the moment so great british pounds japanese also very volatile currency doing quite well here and 78 dollars or 7.8 percent we have the aussie usd with 65 dollars or 6.5 percent and then the aussie cat 50 dollars or five percent great british counts cat 49 dollars or 4.9 percent and then euro swiss francs 44 dollars or 4.4 percent Overall, if you would have traded those top five in here for the RSI Liberator, then you would have made $286 or 5.7%. And that is a good weekly profit overall again. Now we're going to have all 22 in here. You can see the balance is 226 or 23, sorry. And started off with 220,000. And again, we are using this on $10,000 accounts, but you can trade it on a $1,000 account. So if you want to do this with real money, it all depends on if you want to use it for FTMO purposes, then you leave the settings as they are. Monthly returns is a bit lower. So again, this started off in a very difficult market. So that's why it's at 1% or 10% if you trade it on $1,000 accounts. Weekly returns is about 2%. But you'll see also on our PAM accounts, it's doing much, much better. Trade wins is 66, so that is quite well. Trades per day is a bit higher here, 21.5. And then the history a bit shorter, but we do have about two months of history now, 62 days. And you can see the trend is coming here. It's also slowly but surely getting more and more smooth. 
And this is the reason why we have 22 EA set up again on various currency pairs. Also here, you can go on our website. You can click the individual links that you want to have a closer look at which ones uh, that might inspire you that you say, well, okay, high tech investment got uh, the Aussie New Zealand to, to work. I'm going to go and have a look and see if I can also trade this myself. You can see which ones are struggling more or less. And then you could say, okay, I'm going to keep away from these ones here. We're going to also have a look at the graph and again on the details in here. You can see that it did quite well overall. So all the 22 did $560. And in previous weeks, you can see a lot lower, 385. You can see also again here in mid-May, 208. So very, very low when we had the drawdowns coming in for most of the EAs. But it looks like this one is doing extremely well also. And uh, obviously that's again where you can find a lot more detail on our website, on the Wave Liberator and the RSI Liberator, which leads over to our PAM accounts where you don't really have to trade anything. We will do it for you, but it will give you a good information exactly on what is happening. So you can go and have a look at the Wave Liberator results and videos and the same thing for the RSI. You can also see when we started off, we started 4th of March and things are going quite well. And you can download the setup instructions if there should be a reason for that to try and help you with this. Now we are also again celebrating uh, that we now have more than $300,000 under management in between those two accounts. And that has been achieved in just 90 days. We are very, very happy with the uh, basically the development that we have seen so far, even though that definitely we have been in a very difficult and choppy market here lately where it has been first the Japanese yen that has been trending heavy. And then we also saw some serious movements from the Swiss francs. All of this, uh, all our accounts is doing quite well. We have seen other accounts not doing so well and some had margin calls overall, but we have a different system set up uh, just for this in order to cover it. But that is for a different video. What we are looking at today is simply the profits. And if we have a look at the Wave Liberator account, the balance we have in here at the moment is 276,000 uh, and plus uh, some change. We can see the monthly returns. It looks a bit low here at 6.4%. Uh, again, this is because uh, investors took out money here, about 60,000 back then. And that took a lot of the profit away that we have made up until then. Uh, so it is again a bit misleading as I mentioned every single week in here. You can see it has continued to do quite well. Uh, the only time we had a minus was back here in April, a minus 16,000. And that is because when that is being taken off, then unfortunately FX Blue can't really calculate it the right way. History we have in here 101 days. So definitely we have more than three months of information now. And in the past week, we made $5,297 in here. You can see that it was uh, low last week, 2,494. Then we had a very bad week, again, in the middle of May here, 695, where we dialed down the EA. Uh, and that is what we can do with these, the ways we have set up our PAM accounts. We can dial it up, we can dial it down in order to try and control the risk. And... Obviously, we would like to get back to some of the same levels that we have previously, uh, but we are obviously a bit cautious on how the market is looking at the moment. So we have to take everything into consideration. And this we are also doing for the RSI Liberator. That one has now some positive news. Uh, obviously, the monthly returns is a lot higher. But again, FX Blue has mixed it up because also here we had, I believe, about $10,000. We were at 30,000, then it dropped down to uh, about uh, 20 or 19. And then as you can see, it is actually doing quite well. So again, it is not showing the right part. We have more than 40,000 now plus in the balance overall. And you can see also how well things are actually doing. Uh, last week we had $877 in here. So this week we had 933. And then that was only the first five days. Now, I also took the monthly parts in here for the net profit. 
and you'll actually see that uh, just here Monday, just before we're shooting this particular video here, we got about an additional $850 in here while we were sleeping. So basically happened in between Sunday and Monday, Central European time. So we woke up to that. That was very, very nice getting almost the same as we got the entire last week. So, and what does that mean? Well, the uh, profit that we got in just for this morning here, and we haven't even had a full day of it yet, was more than 2%. And if you then calculate that for the entire month, that means that most probably would be somewhere around 40, 45%. Uh, I would not count on that. If we get to that particular point, and certainly I will dial it down again, uh, because we have to be very cautious. We are not taking a huge risk in here. The whole idea for the PAM accounts was to make somewhere between 8, 10% up to about 15. So we're going to try and continue to keep the balance in here. Um, but obviously it's very nice when you have these extra little hiccups in the positive direction overall. Now I also wanted to show you just uh, again details on a different way and this is for the RSI and this uh, RSI Liberator. So this is from the MQL5 and here you can see some different numbers than what you saw. Again also MQL5 says oh you had a loss when people took the money out. So it cannot calculate that because you took away the profit. But anyway May was an uh, okay month with 16% in here. And now we can see already June, we have had only five and a half trading days and we are 4.94% up already. So it's looking quite good. It's only the part where there was a huge withdrawal that basically messes up some of the money and the setup overall. So these are very, very healthy accounts. So definitely go and have a closer look at it. See if this is something for you. Uh, make sure you do all your due diligence. Make sure that you don't use any money that you need for rent or your kids or anything else like this. So because there is a risk uh, of losing this at the end of the day, but we are very confident that uh, we are doing our very best to make sure that that will not happen. Now, what will happen is that we have a new EA you can download. This is actually the old Profit Retriever, more than two years old. It has the new updated version 2.00 and uh, the last one had a one in front. So that means this is a major update and this actually shows that this is the new pruning functions that are in there. Pruning functions where it will take uh, the last ones and prune them. So at least it will take two out every single time you have a retracement or it will take the last and the first, take them out, you will get a loss on that. But at the end of the day, it will actually move your target to get out of that particular trade closer to you. Uh, that means you'll be hopefully coming out of it. At the end of the day, you might lose a bit of money, but you'll come out of the trade and you won't have uh, a margin call. Obviously, you should not use that on a day-to-day -day basis. That is our recommendation because you should set up your EAs to avoid this at any cost. Alex from Expert Forex also have another video out this week where again he's showing more than 180 trading accounts and settings for users that they can go in and have a closer look at. They can use and see if this is something they want to do. They are on various time frames. They are on various RSI periods, things like this, different take profits. So you'll get some ideas of uh, how you can set yours up. And apart from that, also Alex said uh, another video here. So this regarding the drawdowns and the uh, crash drive. Basically, this is the drawdown that we saw in mid-May. And uh, he seems to refer in this particular video here that the changes made for the uh, RSI and the Wave Liberator and the HCA. So with the new pruning functions has taken down the drawdown. I'm not so sure about that because uh, I have also seen that the drawdown has been reduced massively in the last couple of weeks and I'm not actually using this still because again it doesn't necessarily reduce the drawdown and over time uh, it looks like it's uh, only something that you should actually use when your account get in real trouble. But I will save that for uh, another video. The last one he has is a couple of new ideas on how to use the EA testing and the optimization results. 
and how you should basically consider doing this when you are setting up your new EAs. It doesn't really matter which one it is. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you liked it. Please give us a thumbs up, a like, and also a comment. And obviously, have a closer look at our PAM accounts in here because it looks like a lot of our investors are really enjoying this. You can see the uh, amount it is cashing in every single week. And again, just make sure that you know what you are getting yourself into. And that's why everything on our website is actually for free. You can go and have a look at it. You can go and look at the individual parts of the EA to see what kind of risk we are actually taking over time so that you have all the details and information ready to make uh, your own choice because you and you alone are responsible for your investments in here. We are simply just trying to give you as many tools as possible to make that right decision. So I hope that uh, you had enjoyed this and hopefully to see you also on one of my next videos where I'm going to try and have a closer look and uh, explain a bit more about the RSI setup for the Wave uh, Liberator also in here so that you can see how we are setting it up, how we are doing things uh, for the PAM accounts or for all the other coupling service too. So until then, hopefully I'll see you around on one of my other videos. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.